This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by GoDaddy. Well, hello there, it's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. In the last fantastic episode, Suffice Sire Suff the S U F C. Uh, this user asked me if I can check out some iOS applications for university or college. Of course, you can just go to the App Store and find whatever miscellaneous application that might be related to your academic study. But I feel like it's more important to find something that everyone can use. So for this episode of WTA, I'm gonna list one, two, three applications that'll do just that. Personally, I feel like organization, you know, staying on top of your tasks, sending, writing, highlighting notes, setting reminders for social events, due dates, study dates, labs, projects, heck, even setting an alarm or a reminder to wake you up at 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning for your morning class. All of this is really, really important. And nowadays, with all of our fancy gizmos and gadgets, all of these organizational tools, a.k.a applications are right at our fingertips. Granted, these app steps and procedures won't necessarily make you any smarter academically. They'll help you stay prepared and help you stay organized to make sure you get done whatever it is you need to get done. I just mm, like that with this face right here. Mm. Get things done with this face like this. I'm a huge fan of all the new age cloud-based auto-syncing services where all of your devices, gadgets, and, and even your Android-powered Wi-Fi enabled microwave. They're all synced up, all ready to go, and uh, they're all on the same page. It's wonderful. It's glorious. That's what it is. It's glorious. The first app on the list is Remember the Milk. RTM is the ultimate to-do list, task management service that doubles as reminders. The iOS apps are absolutely fantastic. RTM is really basic and really simple, but that's a good thing. You just enter in your tasks, maybe create and set some categories, tag it a few tags, and you're done. You can even set priorities, due dates, and reminders, and I love the RTM reminder system. I have my RTM account send me an email every day at 9 a.m. listing everything I need to do for that day. It helps me stay organized and most importantly it makes me feel really good about myself it makes me feel important you know you know all business like whatever that means a downside for this application would be that the desktop aka the web version isn't really as polished as the iPhone or iPad apps just just my opinion and although the service and the apps are technically free I highly recommend upgrading your account to pro as it has push notifications for your application and it has unlimited auto syncing a totally free alternative is something called wonder list I actually found out about this application today and it looks fantastic I haven't used it enough to give it a full review but I thought I'd mention it next up is Evernote I was a long time awesome note user because it synced up wonderfully with my Gmail account. I started using Evernote after it was recommended to me from a friend and I never went back. Like RTM, it's wonderfully simple and syncs seamlessly. It, it just works. Let's say you're in class and you, and you don't have your awesome laptop with you. That's fine, but you conveniently have your iPad with you because goodness knows you can't let go of that plants versus zombie game, so you always have this thing with you. All you gotta do is pull that iPad out of your backpack, knapsack, or whatever you want to call it, smack it on your desk, and everyone around you will be like, whoa! This guy is awesome. He just smacked his iPad on, on his desk. Open up Evernote and start taking notes like that. Be a baller. Be a baller like that. This scenario most likely is a university or college thing because I don't think your high school teachers will appreciate you whipping out your iPhone or iPad to take notes. Although they might, they might nowadays. I don't know. I'm, I'm old school like that. So I, I don't know, man. I, I, I have no idea. In fact, I use Evernote for every single video project that I have to work on. Whether it's my entire script, I have to write down time codes or just random video notes, it just works beautifully. And you know what? It's free. It's wonderful. It's awesome. Can't find another adjective right now. It's fan super tasticness. Unlike RTM, which doesn't actually have an official desktop version, the Evernote desktop app is epic. And speaking of epic, I'm gonna take some time to thank our sponsors at GoDaddy. With GoDaddy, you get reliable and secure web hosting with no long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are now bigger and better than ever with 99.99% .99 uptime, free 24 seven support with no annual commitment. And check this out. You can also download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or Blackberry application. So you can order and manage domain names right from your phone and more. Check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all of the amazing GoDaddy deals. And if you enter in the coupon code BUFFALO1, that's B-U-F-F-A-L-O-1, you get 10% off any order, which is amazing. And with that, back to the review. 
And last but not least would be docs to go. You don't really need this application if you have Evernote, but if you have a lot of essays that were written with something like Microsoft Word, this application will come in handy as it can open, edit, and save doc files. I wouldn't necessarily recommend writing your entire 20 page thesis or analysis of why fast food is bad for you or why I'm so fantastic, but you can jot down some notes and finish it off later on with your laptop or desktop computer. I originally got this app to open spreadsheets. It does a decent job, meaning that it can open it, but barely do anything else. You can edit the Excel documents, sure, but not by much. And forget about copying and pasting multiple cells because you just can't. And although this application isn't free, $9.99 will get you both the iPhone and iPad versions, which is pretty neat. You know, it's like a two in one deal. Well, their YouTube username I can't pronounce and all you other fine folks out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want me to check out any other applications, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you very much for tuning in. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. With GoDaddy, <laughs> with GoDaddy, with with GoDaddy, I don't think I don't think I'm allowed to do that. With GoDaddy, <laughs> with GoDaddy, oh, crap, I can't do the real one now.